Hello there. This is another one from my personal library that I wanted to share with you. This is Violetta by Isabel Allende. Violetta tells her life story as a letter to someone she loves. Starting from her birth in the 1920s into a family that already had five sons in South America. And then her life covers a hundred years from the Spanish flu through war and revolutions to the latest pandemic, COVID. The book cover mentions Allende's book Long Petal of the Sea, but I think one of her best and most loved books is House of the Spirits, which is one of my favorite books. This story reminded me a little bit of that one, not just because it's set in the same story world, but also because it's the story of a family with various family members' lives and adventures, as well as Violetta's. Um, also like that book, this one is based on the author's family, in this case an amalgam of Allende's mother and herself, so a mix of both. Isabel Allende was very close to her mother and they wrote thousands of letters to each other over the course of their lives. Recently Isabel's mother died, which was the impetus to write this book. House of the Spirits was begun after her beloved grandfather's death, almost as a letter to him, which kind of brings this book full circle. Isabel Allende's own life and that of her actual family is quite remarkable and interesting. And she's written about them in different books and, mem and memoirs that she's had published. And I just find her really interesting as a person as well as a writer. Anyway, <laughs> this author's books are one of the few authors that are an automatic buy for me. And I have all of her books except I think one or two of her middle grade or young adult reads. I really enjoy the way she writes. She's written in uh, several different genres over the course of her career, which is pretty cool. Uh, fiction, nonfiction, memoir, historical fiction, family saga. There's even a murder mystery one. Um, her books always have what I think of a storyteller tone. They're not fast reads or commercial fiction in style. By that I mean if you think of a lot of thrillers that you might read or genre fiction they have a much more um, staccato sentence structure and shorter chapters and this is more just a bit more immersive and a bit more literary in tone and style. There are some touches of magic realism uh, in this book and in her other books which I love in general but especially in South American authors. There is a sense of humor a sense of the extraordinary in the everyday, a loving way of looking at eccentric family members. Her books can often be quite tragic and yet also be very funny. Uh, they can be full of romance, but then also talk about political regimes and um, mass killings, protests. Her books to me feel very real and down to earth with ordinary people of different backgrounds, often pushed around by the winds of change and just putting one foot in front of the other. And there's resilience and love and courage and naivety, laughter and tragedy. And this book has all of that. I really liked Violetta and the characters in this story. She sees so much change over the course of her life. And it's interesting that she can be quite sheltered from some things due to her financial or social position. Or even because as a woman in her time and place, she has more interest in surviving and helping her family than in what's going on outside of that. And I think this is true for a lot of people during changing or turbulent times that they're just living every day and they don't have like the benefit of hindsight in a historical sense. Um, some of the people in Violetta's life or on the periphery of her life are not on the right side of history, which is interesting. I also liked this strong woman in this book, not just Violetta, but her governess who remains a family th family friend throughout the story and her aunts they're each strong in their own way too sometimes they some of them want to make change in their society and others want to protect their family or provide and they're more traditional um, I haven't said too much about the plot because I just don't want to spoil any of it for you but it follows Violetta from her birth to her death always with that background of family and those people in her our lives who become family even if they're not blood related, it covers quite a lot of time. And when I think about it, it's impressive how much the author has really captured the essence of the different eras it moves through. There's not an anachronistic misstep and I really love that. So this is a really beautiful and moving book and I wanted to share it with you. 
Um, the author has another book coming out later this year as well. So I mentioned above that Allende is a South American author. She has actually lived in the U.S. for many years, but her style and subjects are still influenced by her heritage. And she does, uh, she doesn't actually write in English, but she has her books translated once she's finished them. But I mentioned that just to sort of bring up that if you haven't plumbed the depths of the wonderful books from South America or Latin America, and um, I know that's like a, a bit broad to just lump them all in together when they're all unique places and countries, but um, you're in for a treat. Um, I love this author, so you can pick up any of her books if you want to try them. Most libraries will have most of them, which is great. But also you might like, by a different authors, you might like Love in a Time of Cholera, like Water for Chocolate, or A Hundred Years of Solitude. They're all really good. Maybe to start you off if you want to try some of these um, books from this area. Uh, but if you have a favorite by this author, or if you have anything similar that you loved or um, want to recommend, just let me know below in the comments because it's fun to hear from you guys. You can check out some of my other videos. I also have another channel and social, so you can find links below if you want more of that. And if you want to hang out again, remember to like and subscribe. And you can always leave a comment. Let me know what you thought or let me know what else you might want to see. Thank you.